All right, so Killgreed here, and I have another firearm. I've actually had this gun for about 10 days now, and I did get to shoot it. Um, it is a Rossi 357 slash 38 Special Revolver. The only reason I put it back in the box is for the video. Uh, so it's not an original unboxing. I've already shot it. It worked fine and all that. I just put it back in the box just for anybody that might be curious that hasn't seen other videos yet um, of, you know, the unboxing process and what comes in it other than the gun. So, anyway, here we go. Rossi is made by Taurus, so on the side of the gun it does say uh, Bainbridge, Georgia, and Taurus uh, on one side of it. So you get your paperwork, right? Manual. Warning. Um, and then... The gun right here, and you get a lock underneath it, which I could give a sh It comes in this little, you know, plastic right there. And this is the Rossi RM66 revolver. It's a six inch. It's 357 and 38 special because it's already chambered in 357, so it can handle 38 special. The uh, analogous to ARs, you know, how. If an AR is already chambered in 556 or 223 wild, it can handle, you know, uh, both. You can do 223, 556. But one that's chambered in just 223 regular can't handle 556. So that's the same with uh, 357 and 38 special. It has to be 357 chambered, the stronger round, uh, for it to also handle the weaker 38 special. So. That's this, the Rossi RM66. Like I said earlier in this video at the beginning, I have fired this gun. Um, I didn't put many rounds through it at all. I think I just put about nine rounds through it. I put, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I didn't even put two full cylinders through it because um, I was like hard pressed in time at the range. But in the nine rounds I put in it, it worked fine. The recoil is actually more modest than you might think. I already did shine this up a bit. It did not come this shiny. I put some Mother's Mag polish on it to make it, you know, even shinier. It's not quite a mirrored finish, but it almost is. I mean, you know, I can see myself in it, and I can see the reflections of stuff and all that. And, you know, with my other videos, I love shiny stuff. I'm like a raccoon, right? So, anyway... It's pretty, uh, pretty good free-floating, free-spinning cylinder right there. I feel like I'm on Price is Right and I'm doing the wheel, you know. I got the dollar. <laughs> anyway, yeah, 357 and 38 special. Um, of course, with most revolvers, you have double action and single action, right? Most revolvers, you know, newer revolvers, right, you know. Um, they don't have to be very new, <laughs> but a lot of revolvers are both, you know, double action and single action. But I got to tell you, the double action trigger pull, once again, let me, all right, um, double action trigger pull is quite immense, man. I'm talking, I don't have one of those tools, but, oh, that has to be about 10 pound trigger pull, something like that. But, my favorite thing to do with revolvers, to make it way smoother, oh yeah, that hairline trigger pull when you cock it single action, man, boop, just like that. And, uh, I'm going to do another video on this once I put more rounds through it. I have a couple hundred rounds of 357, and I'm not going to use up all of it, but I might use half of it, you know. Um, and I'm going to get some 38 special and put that through it also, even though I already know it'll handle it because it's chambered in 357. So, yeah, and I think you can handle, uh, plus P as well. These, um, 30, these 357 rounds here from a company called, uh, PPU Defense, this right here, they're actually hollow points and see how many rounds are missing in here yeah it was about nine rounds that's this round right here these are 357 hollow points and it put those through there just fine 
the recoil, like I said, is more modest than I thought. You know, it is an all-metal gun, so the gun absorbs most of the recoil, especially with it being a six-inch barrel. What I want to do eventually, and I don't know if anyone watching this could let me know, um, as you can, as you can tell, and as you've seen with my uh, other video with my. Rock Island 1911. I got those shiny metal grips on there, right? Makes it look like El Chapo, right? Well, I want to see, and I've not been able to find any yet. I want to get those, you know, same kind of metal gold plated grips there for this. Um, and I'm newer to the revolver world, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so uh, I, when I'm looking up stuff for myself, I don't know, it doesn't say it on the box and other videos I've watched. They don't specify the kind of grips. I know there's J-frame, K-frame, L-frame, all that. And I don't know which specific ones go on here if I could find some custom metal grips like you just saw with that 1911, but for a revolver. Um, I've not been able to find any metal ones. Everything is like, you know, rosewood, etc., etc. And I might settle for that. But if I could find some metal grips, you know, that I can't find on eBay or Amazon or whatever else... Uh, please let me know in the comments section. Give me a link or something. You know, I'll pay a decent amount of money to get some gold metal grips just like the 1911 on here. As well, make this one look like El Chapo as well, I guess. And I'm only saying his name because, like, when I put a picture of that 1911 on my Facebook, five minutes later, one of my high school buddies was like, that's, It looks like you bought it from El Chapo. So that's just the analogy I'm, and an example I'm using. <laughs> a perfect example, right? <laughs> so, yeah, Rossi RM66. So far, it's been pretty good on the recoil. Nine rounds in. Oh, that's so great of a perspective, right? <laughs> no, I know it's not, but it's something. That's rather, you know, something's better than nothing. It's some kind of testing I was able to do. <clears throat> so, there it is, baby. Once again, anybody knows where to get some metal shiny metal grips for this hit me up peace out